Romans 13 verse 1, it says, Let every soul be in subjection to the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. And the powers that, that be are ordained of God. Two, therefore he that resisted the power withstandeth the ordinance of God. And they that withstand shall receive to themselves judgment. Can you see the verse there? Amen. Huh? Let's pray. You can, you can continue reading verse 3. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I was reading this verse. Like I, was, I was just concerned about our Christian level. I found that already this verse is clear to us. I realized that it's not that we don't know scriptures. We, we, we know this one is apostle. We know this one. This one is a prophet. That one is a pastor, teacher. We know we are Christians. But our problem is we are failing to exercise the authority we have been given. Just write exercising authority. I want you to exercise the authority you have been given from now. Where we have read, the Bible says all authorities have been ordered from God. Somewhere the Bible says a law is a terror to one who break it. And it talks about no one is supposed to withstand any ordinance of God. Authority is when God justifies me to execute orders that have been given. If you can read here, you realize that if you want to understand authority, there have to be a ruler and a steward. There have to be a ruler and a steward. Everyone on earth is subject under authority. Everyone on earth is subject under authority. Either you exercise authority or you exercise it under someone's authority. Therefore, you are a steward. A person or everyone on earth has been given a chance to go to another power of authority by becoming faithful to the authority has been given. So we have read, we found that as a steward under authority you are created to be faithful when you are under that authority. So we are failing to exercise authority. We end up entering the spears of others. I don't know if you are hearing me. When I'm in Charis here, I'm a pastor of Charis. But I'm not a pastor of faith mission. So there are things that Faith mission will never allow me to do that. There are rules from rulers of the people who have got authority there. And such people will never allow me to do what I wish them. I have to be under the rules of the ruler. We as Christians, 
We work under the authority of the Holy Spirit. Not under authority of the law of Moses. That's why we call ourselves children of grace. Because we were not deserving what we are having. But we have been taken to a level where we have been allowed to be led and move under the authority of the Holy Spirit. So we can still come out of it. We still come out, under, out of the authority and do what we wish. But we are on our own. A person of authority is responsible with a steward. When you execute the powers of the authority from the direction of the ruler it's not you who is doing what you are doing it's the ruler who allows you to do that if I'm preaching now I'm like a steward but there's a ruler who gave me assignment to preach so I'm under authority I must do what I'm commanded to do and if I do contrary under myself, whatever comes, I must defend it by my blood. The reason why we are failing and we are being challenged, we don't know where we are supposed to operate. Either we stay under authority or we abuse authority. Many people are abusing authority. Authority to the advantage. A person who is under authority, he does not do what he wishes because he is commanded and he pleased the one who sent him. If you believe, say amen. If you read Luke 20 from verse 1, let's read there. Luke 20 from verse 1. I want to show you something. From verse 1 there. Just read from verse 1. Mm. Verse 1 and verse 2. 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 Verse 1 and verse Look what Jesus said. Verse 4. He said, The baptism of John was it from heaven or from men? Verse 4. And the reason with themselves say, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why did he? Did he not believe him? But if we shall say from men, all the people will stone us. For they are persuaded that John was a prophet. And they answered that they knew not whence it was. And Jesus said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. I want you to look at the question that the Pharisees ask Jesus. They talk about signs and wonders as these things. From the beginning, they were clear. It was clear that they were not believing. So, they say, where did you get authority of doing these things? So Jesus realized that wasting time of answering them, he can be in that position. He better told them. He says, I won't answer you. Let me ask you a question. He said, what kind of baptism was Brought by John. So if we say we know here, 
Everybody knows he's from God. And if we say not, people will fight us because he's a, a prophet. But Jesus was trying to say the problem why you don't believe and you call them these things is because you don't even believe me who's doing that. You call miracles these things. Where did I get this? If you believe me, you will know where I come from. One of our mistakes is whatever which is the best, we attest it to Satan. If God starts to use me here, I'm not a man of God. I don't know if you are hearing me. This thing has happened. These people push aside authority. Remember in John 15, when Jesus was speaking, that you people, you don't even believe by heart. You just talk. Many people, they underrate authority. If you believe Jesus, you will understand that you are supposed to give fruits, bear fruits, and your fruits will remain. Because you believe. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can you ask your neighbor, say, my friend, are you sure you believe that you are a child of God? Do you understand authority you are under? If you understand the authority you are under, you know that you have got Jesus who is coming from your father God. I don't know if you are hearing me. I also say my friend, I want to exercise authority. The Bible says that those who have believed in him, they have been given authority. They have got right to call themselves sons of God. Listen, authority makes you to operate as a son of God. You are here today. You don't know yourself. You are looking at your situations and you are forgetting your father. If you are a son of God, you are, you are a child of your father God. And your father owns heaven and earth. So you cannot live the life you are living. You cannot live life of poverty. If you are exercising authority, you cannot live like your father does not own anything. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's how I say, my friend, don't live like a slave in the house of your father. Can you tell her, don't live like a slave in the house of of your father. Many times we are looking at ourselves. We forget that this authority give us all right to be the children of God. So you can see what happened. They never believed but they were just surprised of these things. If you believe you'll be part of these things. People will look at you and mention you your name and say we are surprised you can do this thing. There are things that are assigned for your name that you need to do them and surprise people. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Matthew 23, verse 1 to 5, Jesus was worried. If you can read there, the Bible says, in the seat of Moses, there are Pharisees who are sitting themselves. Hear what they say. Just hear what they say. But they must not shake you. Take what they are saying. They sit themselves. I don't know if you're hearing me. A person who gave himself a position, he ended up can be 
disturbing other people. But the time of Jesus, the authority in them was nowhere. People were sick. I remember there was a time where there was a man who used to sit at the gate of the temple. But they used to enter inside. Inside the temple, there was no change. There was a lady who spent many years bending. There was a problem. They put themselves in the seat of Moses. But there was no a single sign of showing that they are coming from God. Moses was a man under authority. When God speaks with him, we see results. I don't know if you are hearing me. I remember the time when there was no water in the desert. And God spoke with him. And the water came from the rock. From the rock, water came. Even today, the man Moses, he did mighty works that there is no prophet or apostle who has ever done that. Listen, after Moses, people put themselves in the position of him. But Jesus said, listen to them. Know that they don't have authority. Just listen to them. What they are saying is from the Bible. But if you follow their behaviors, they can affect the authority that God has given you. Because the authority of God takes you to the presence of God where you have to act accordingly to the will of God. I don't know if you are hearing me. From now on, I want Christians who are under authority whatever they do it glorifies God whatever they do it gives praises to their father God I don't know if you are hearing me we are not supposed just to take or put ourselves in the position of our father God where God never knows us we can kill people we can destroy people. We can destroy people. But listen to this. What God wants you to do is not to hear us. He wants us also to receive authority so that you'll be able to talk to your situation. You'll be able to talk to your mountain. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Tell somebody very close to you that your problem leaves you. The authority you have been given is so big to the problem you are facing. So don't judge yourself by what you are, you are facing. There's authority you have been given. Live like a child of God. You can overcome this situation. If you believe, shout hallelujah. As I say, my friend, are you just seated yourself or you are in the position of authority? Listen, it is possible that you just put yourself there without authority and people end up believing in you and end up cursing God through your life. But when you are in a position where you have been seated there by the authority of the one who rules, even you, you are a ruler. Even you, you will rule. Whatever you do, you will be, you'll be executing rules that brings forth praises to the one who sent you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I felt to tell you this. That God does not look where we are or where we are going. God looks God looks at, at the authority he has given us because we can change the mountains. 
to be a farmer. We can change a thorn places and to be a city. We can change everything by the authority we have been given. Jesus was a man who can change the situation. One time he found the disciples toiling the whole night and they catch nothing. But the authority was heavy. When he reached there, he said, hey, lower your net again. Lower your net again. I've got authority also. I'm here to tell you, try again what you were trying. There is something that will happen in your life. Lower your net again. Tell them about your neighbor. Say, hey, lower your net again. Listen, he found the people were tired, who were thinking that it's better they go to sleep. But they were given a second chance. I see, but the authority has been given to do something on the second chance. You have got a second chance. Where you fail, you can make it again. I say you can make it again. Listen, authority brings a new strength for a new assignment. When you have got authority, you cannot be exhausted or exhaust your power. Authority renew that power and make the power to be new for another assignment. I see where you have failed and I see my God strengthening you again and I believe you will rise up to do things anew and I know you will never fail again. I and I prophesy you that where you have failed this is the time for me to tell you hey, you can rise up again and do it again if you believe shout hallelujah I feel to tell you that authority position you to where God wants you to be position you Listen, any it movement is. of yours is a miracle. I can tell you like now I'm preaching here. It does not need me to struggle to get a message. Because I'm under authority. I just stand and I began to talk what God want me to talk. I don't know if you are me. I say, hey, listen. Break your crowds where you are. Break your crowds. Don't worry about where you have failed. You can rise up again. Then do it again. Lower your net again. Check somebody say, hey. Lower your net again. When you've got authority, you don't need to die there. Die there. I don't know if you're hearing me. You don't need to die there. Any failure tells you you can do better. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen. There's nothing that discourages me. I don't know why. There's nothing. I don't know why. Sometimes, you know, I'm sure if I tell you this, you won't understand. Everything works for good. I say everything works for good. Eh? Huh? Nothing discourages me. Can I tell you this? The authority that God gives me, it must work for me and work for you. It must work for who? For both of us. You must not be discouraged. I say you must not be discouraged. That that trouble is looking for trouble. I said that trouble is looking for trouble. I see authority. That is under you. You are a man of authority. Whatever you can say today, it can bring forth the reason. I say you are a man of authority. You are a woman of authority. You can bring fruit where people have failed to produce fruit. I see see you with authority. I see authority upon your life. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let me try to tell you this. I have seen some people who are under authority. 
When I was growing up, I will tell you this. I'm not saying this. I don't even like it, but it's life I that I was living before. I used to get arrested. When I'm here. But one day I was learning what is happening with police. If you want to see, go to police station. You just go to police station inside. You hear how police speak. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just check them when they get out from home. Going home. And you do something. They won't even ask you. What makes them to be very, very rough? The moment they put a uniform, they, they feel some powers. They change even the voice. I don't know if you are hearing me. I've learned from police. One day I look at this police and say, I can clap this police. But I could just see that if I clap this place, still I will be extending my problem because he's on the, he's on the authority. He's wearing a uniform. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen, you don't need to be big or tall. Just wear authority. I said, wear authority. Just take that authority. When demons look at you, they will run away. When poverty look at you, they will surrender. I see poverty surrender because of the authority. I was telling one mama. She was telling me that she's going to court. I said, God, I've got authority. I don't care what will happen. I can speak something here. Even if they try to do something, we'll reverse it because I spoke it. When you are under authority, whatever you speak matters. You must be bold. I say you must be bold. I say you must be bold. Are you bold? Are you strong? Are you strong? If you are under authority, that problem is not a problem. That challenge is not a challenge. I see you being successful now. You are about to be successful. If you believe, hallelujah. Look at this verse. If you read Matthew 20, 25 to 28. When I was reading this verse, I said, God, do we understand authority? Because many of us here, we are asking ourselves, why our situation is like this. We, are, we can change everything from 25. 20, 25 there. Ask your neighbor, do you have authority for now? But Jesus called them unto him and said, Ye know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them and their great ones Amen. exercise authority over, over them. Look at verse 6. I love six verse 26. He says, not 26. so shall it be among you, but whosoever will become great among you shall be your minister. And whosoever will be first among you shall be your servant. Look at Alleluia. verse 28. Even as the Son of Man came not to be minister unto, but to minister and to give life, his life, a ransom for many. If you read that verse, you will see Jesus try to talk about people who have got authority. Listen, people who have got authority, I'll give you, I'll tell you when you have got authority. Uh, I mean, some of you, uh, those who grow up in Venda, you know. Here in Venda, and uh, uh, Venda, and let me say Limpopo province. People are, they know what I'm talking about. You know, there's, there's, there was this thing of fighting. But there's these people that, you know, they know that they can beat, but they don't make noise. 
And this thing is still happening even now. I can tell you what happens now. If you check on two people and they want to fight, check the one who's speaking louder. Especially to ladies. Very soon, the same person will be down. I don't know if you're hearing me. Here, Jesus is speaking the same thing. He said, you don't need to exercise authority by proving a point, but by serving others. When you are down, when you are down, when you know yourself down, and you serve others, the authority will increase. I don't know if you're hearing me. We must not do it like people of the world. Let's do it like Christians. When they lord over you, they show you. They speak. They insult you. They say whatever. These are the people of the world. But Christians, they serve others. They serve others. They humble themselves. I don't know if you're hearing me. If, if you want to get more authority, if you want to get more, more power in your authority, when people are trying to show that they are big, humble yourself, serve, serve them, be small there. When you are doing that, the Bible says, he who humble himself before the mighty hand of the Lord will be lifted up. You are the one to go up. I say you are the one to go up. I see you going up. I see you going if you have got authority just do something for others there's no time to waste I said there's no time to waste yeah not long I was saying I was just saying that uh, you know the moment you are saving, saving, saving out of my experience I realize there's a lot to stop you many of you have already stopped what God wanted you to do or what you were doing because of the circumstances of other people and the noise of other people when you hear noise rejoice, carry on I don't know if you are hearing me listen, carry on for another new excitement, another new level. I see you to another level. I see you on the other level. I see you are there. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell your neighbor, say, my friend, I, I feel authority all over me. I, I feel authority all over me. I can give you an example. The Bible says there was a man who was having a slave who was sick. And the Bible says the sick man was about to die. But he sent a message by the high priest. When the high priest went to Jesus, they said, Jesus, you can't deny anything to this man. He has been serving God. You can't deny anything. He loved even our God. He built our churches. His son, his slave son is sick. So you can't deny him anything. Same time, when Jesus heard he was serving, he stood up and he went there. When that man knows that they are coming, he sends some servants. He says, sorry, go and meet Jesus. He's not supposed to come and enter under my roof. I'm a man under 
Like now I send you. I can say go there you go. Go there you go. Even Jesus. The reason why I serve him. The reason why I build the synagogue. The reason why there's a story. Of what I did. Because I believe. In the same Jesus. For the authority of Jesus. Let Jesus. Speak a way. And my servant will be here. This man, he never just spoke that. He was saving, saving, loving the people of Israel. Building the synagogue. He was down. But in his position. He was up there. I don't know if you are hearing me. And Jesus. Was surprised of his statements. Sometimes we lack knowledge and wisdom because we can't serve under authority. Listen, if we are in the house of God and God says, Go there, we go. Stop there, we stop. Do this, we do. Can I tell you what will happen? Can I tell you what will happen? I'm telling you, God will give us wisdom. We'll begin to understand the mysteries of. God. This man never knew Jesus, but he heard about Jesus and he realized this man is a man under authority. Even him, he was saving under authority. He understood authority. That when Jesus speaks, with anything it happens the way he speaks. Listen, you have been given the same authority. You have been given the same authority. I don't know if you are hearing me. You can speak something today and it will come to pass in your life. Listen, you can speak money, you receive money. You can speak something, you receive it. I don't know if you are hearing me. Say, I'm under authority. Whatever I say, my ruler make sure it happens. Something will happen today. I said, something will happen today. Listen, I just felt I was uh, I was telling one of my prophets uh, which I wanted to tell you this. Uh, this is my testimony, but I will tell you when because if this issue of you resign to be a pastor, I, I wanted to resign. In the beginning of the year. I wanted just to resign. But when I go and pray, God will tell me this. And then I began to learn that resigning yourself exercises what you know can bring forth reality of the authority of it. Even when you go and pray, you say, Lord, I, I don't want to do this. You never told me about this. God will tell you, do this. One of my reasons why I wanted to resign was I told Baba, I was not tired. I said, I am a person who is a target in the kingdom of Satan. I want to bring forth my children in the Lord because God has promised. If God has promised, I want to see my children prophesying, delivering my children in the Lord, even my biological children. So I started to do this thing almost two years, if you can remember. I've been in this thing. I was ready to sit down, come with my child, I read. Pray, and I speak like a father. I was ready. Until I hear that if I leave, the wrong people will emerge. If I just leave and keep quiet, the wrong people will emerge. So now, I'm troubling them.
The wrong people, when they emerge, they will play against people. I mean, they will, use, they will abuse authority. I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. So, if I do that, the false prophets will rise. And they will overpower the true prophets. I said, if that is the case, when I come here, when I take my mic, the moment I stand here, I preach Jesus. I say the Bible says, the Bible says, because he has sent me to preach the gospel. And this gospel will produce authority to those he has called to come out and they will become visible. I am not Stopping. I'm carrying on. I will silence Satan. I've got only one enemy. Is Satan. Satan is my enemy. And I pray the authority of my God must descend on the people of my God. And the children in the house of the living God must rise up by the authority. Look here. God prove it. I'm here where I cannot be praised and I cannot stand anywhere and show everything I have. But I might be better than people who think they are better. But listen, I'm here to prove that it's not what you have. It's not materials. It's not whatever. Everyone can do it. I say you can do it. You can have it. I'm crying for young people to rise up with authority and preach the gospel with purity. I don't know if you are hearing me. I'm standing here. I say the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ must be preached without compromise, without sinning. He's the gospel of giving birth to the children of God. We are poor by the way. We are born and bred by the word. I don't know if you are hearing me. So that is why the moment I take my I talk about the person who gave me authority. There's a person who gave me authority. And now even you, when you are listening, you are receiving authority. I say you are receiving authority. I say you are receiving authority. Take that authority. Take that authority. Take that authority. Take that authority. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. There's authority. You need to live a life of victory. You need to live the life you have been called to live. You need to exercise that authority. Are you ready to exercise authority in the name of Jesus? You can produce fruit where there is nothing. I see you producing fruit where there is nothing. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So, that is the only thing I'm here, I'm under authority. One of the things that will make me to hate sin is because of the blood of Jesus. The blood is not water. You can get water anywhere. But the blood of someone. And out of that blood. We must receive authority. To live like him. The Bible says when we believe. We will do what he has done. And even to above. I'm expecting above. I'm expecting things. Are you ready for those things? Lift up your hands. Ask God for authority. And ask God to exercise that authority. Say, Lord, I don't want to abuse your authority. 
I don't want to abuse your authority. I can't hear your prayer. I can't hear it. I can't hear your prayer. I can't hear your prayer. I can't hear your prayer. Pray louder. Pray louder. Pray louder. I can't hear your prayer. I get to tap on your lane. Thank you, Jesus. Are you receiving authority? Yeah, I'm not gonna let you know you now. Don't abuse that authority. The cigar alone can cut a hole in your life. Don't abuse authority. I'm denying to abuse the authority that God gave me. I'm denying in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen. The prayer you need to pray, Lord, I'm denying to abuse the authority I've been given. Because the moment when you are a manager and God lifted you up, you can play with everybody under you. You forget the one who put you there. The moment you are a boss, you can forget that is God who gave you that position. You reverse everybody. I don't know if you're hearing me. So where you are before you reach there, learn to yourself. As God wants to lift me there, I deny to abuse authority. I deny to abuse authority. That is why I can give you example. I can give you example. This can help my pastor's wife. When I am praying for people here, if I found that I don't have any prophecy, I won't prophesy. I deny to abuse authority. If you abuse authority, you are a carnal minded. You do things for your belly and your belly becomes your God. God cannot be praised. You have to be praised. Christians, if you see yourself Better than others. You are abusing authority. Because your position of being better than others is assignment to you to help them. This is the time of understanding the authority you are under. The authority you are under. Jesus, Jesus, I love Jesus. Jesus will avoid confrontation. You will just avoid confrontation. He knew he was bigger than John the Baptist. But he will just say, hey John, let's fulfill the scriptures. 
Many of us, we can't do that. John, let's fulfill the scripture. Let's fulfill the scripture. Listen, if you know the authority you are under, you won't play with it. You will fear the one who gave you authority. I don't know if you're hearing me. Glory to Jesus. You'll do what? You'll fear the one who gave you authority. Hallelujah. That is why here in Charis, I expect everybody to fear God. Because of authority. You see me now. I'm very, very old now. But look where I come from. Can you see I'm very old now? Many people won't reach my age. Now, very, very old now. They won't reach to my age. You see, look where I've started. Look at my age now. Why? I respect authority. If I'm here, I make sure that I'm here. I'm not there. You people, if you want to be growing old and reach your destiny on what God has assigned you for, the blessing that you are trying for to come to you, all in fullness to extend you say oh I've reached that level where I say oh I've seen enough oh I've seen enough if you want to reach the level where you say oh I've seen enough I've seen money I've seen houses I've seen cars what I need is Jesus Christ of Nazareth I need not to lose the house authority that God gave me. If you do that, you will go from a blessing to a higher blessing to the best blessing. I see you going there. I see you going there. How many of you are ready to go there? Are you ready to go there? Are you ready to go there? The moment when God blesses you, don't say I'm there. Don't play with people or about people. Go down. Fear God more. Pray the more. Fast the more. You will see what God wants to show example. You will just say, in Charis, there is whom who, meaning you, I see God pointing at you. God wants to be proud about you. I see the new assignment that is coming to you. I see the new assignment coming to you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Are you ready for a new assignment? Are you ready for a new blessing? Are you ready for a new car? Are you ready for a new house? Are you ready for a new, 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 new thing? It is your time. I say it is your time. I want you to lift your hands again.